Hey everyone, Michael Durr here for PhotoPXL.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about photo albums. I personally love photo albums, but it always seems to be one of those things that gets put on the back burner. It does take time and effort to design them, but I assure you the end product is worth it. In the past, I've used Adorama's online software to design my photo albums. It's been a while since I've gone in and done this, and they have since rebranded to Printique.com. So let's check that out together. So let's go hardcover books. Lots of options here, fabric, leather, soft cover. I've done 10 by 10 in the past, so just in, for the sake of matching the other ones that I have, uh, I'm gonna do square 10 by 10. Uh, again, lots of options here. Uh, the paper, I personally like the luster over the glossy, but let's go into create your book here. And again, I won't go through this entire process, but I'll give you, oh wow. They've added some of these new templates, which is really nice. Um, and let's kind of peruse these. And like I was saying, um, I'll go through these uh, like initial setup and, and some of the design elements. I won't go through me putting the whole book together, but uh, if you're interested, I could share photos of it or do a quick video of it when it arrives. So, and again, I'm not a designer. Um, so this stuff helps me <laughs> to kind of quickly build out something that looks cool. Um, let's go into the photography ones. These are normally pretty simplistic, which I like. Um, not a ton of ton of different stuff going on. Let's just go with this white one here. And again, this is square, continue. Software is opening up here. And again, this is all just web-based um, and it does save your project. So don't think that you have to complete it all at once. Uh, you can kind of save out your images, import them. And then as you're building stuff out, uh, you're able to to kind of do that. So I actually saved um, my photos here to the desktop. So I'll go upload. I'm gonna go to my son's album here. His name's Lawson Riley. There's a little picture of him. So behind me, I'm loading in my images for the album I'm going to create. Uh, I use my son's birth photos to, to create this album as kind of an example, which I've been wanting to do anyway. So it's kind of been long overdue. My son's already six months old. But even just looking back on these images now, um, it's already bringing back memories. So you can imagine you bring this book home or you get it printed and it's delivered. You put it on a shelf for a few months, maybe even a few years. But every once in a while you sit on the couch, you flip through it and it's really fun. It brings back those memories. I really enjoy having the tactile medium um, to kind of sit there and, and flip through rather than you know your phone or a, you know, a device of some sort. Uh, iPad or something like that. It's just nice to have this book. I have several of these books that I've made in the past and I kind of line them up on the shelf and they're really fun to kind of go back back through and, and and revisit. So this was a book I made. So when my wife and I, our first year together, obviously, uh, which is kind of a fun yearbook-esque type of layout. You could see some of the design elements that I imported. Um, this was a uh, full time. Full page spread with the mustache there, which is kind of fun. And I put in little, you know, little blurbs and, and things. This is where you get some of those borders. Uh, some of these elements are cool for certain things, which is kind of fun. So doing some FaceTime old school there, 2011. So you can see how this book is basically 10 years old already, and it looks great. It's held up really well. Now I don't flip through these every day or anything like that, but again, uh, it's not really the, the point of these. You know, they kind of sit on the shelf and you bust them out occasionally and take a look through. But you can see some of these are iPhone shots. Uh, that's why the quality is a little bit low on some of these, but again, that doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just more about the memories and the and the kind of the fun that you had. This one is exceptionally bad, but it was kind of a funny moment. There's a story behind it. <laughs> uh, but again, you see kind of how this, this looks here. All right, all the images have loaded in here and you can see that it already has kind of like self-populated down here at the bottom with different pages. And you can kind of flip through these pages. The, that first page is left blank. It's on purpose. <laughs> uh, I like how it tells you that there, um, but it's already kind of loaded in these images, you know, kind of automatically through artificial intelligence of some sort and uh, just kind of lays them out. Obviously we'll want to probably repurpose this and change things up a bit 
And you can also see that template I chose was just the plain white, uh, which is, is fine. It looks really nice, really simplistic. And again, there's different themes and layouts. Uh, you can kind of, uh, you know, adjust these and drag them onto your, your pages. Tells you your price up here, how many pages you have down here. Um, I, this it loaded in at 20 pages. It's probably a bit much. Um, I'll probably do more around like a 10 page album. So I'll probably delete these out here, which are really easy. Like I said, this is pretty uh, self-explanatory once you get in and start playing around, uh, but you can change your backgrounds. Uh, again, like I said, I like to keep it simple, but some of these for particular things, you know, birth of a boy and that type of stuff might be cool for like a cover or a background. Probably not snow. He was born in the fall. <laughs> Uh, but you, you get the you get the idea here. We'll kind of kind of drag those on and whatnot. Uh, there's you know frames for the the images. You can get really pretty creative with this stuff. Different shapes that you can import. Stickers with oh this is actually kind of cool. You can throw on the uh, calendar and stuff, which might be cool to show. Christmas if you're doing a Christmas album, obviously Halloween. Got all the holidays covered here. Uh, pretty cool. They've really added a lot to this since the last time I came in. Um, this is uh, the white layout here and then your settings. Well, again, this is all stuff that you can kind of mess with as you're going through. Um, you can do a PDF of this to send to a client for approval and things like that. Uh, one thing I want to do is name this project. It kind of creates a generic name. I'm just gonna name it my son's name here, Der. And you should be able to, it should save automatically everything that you're doing. Um, but yeah, right here it says saved. All right, you can kind of see that I got everything loaded in here and I've been doing a little preliminary design work. Um, and then you go into here, uh, kind of laying out. My wife's gonna kill me if I show this online, but I always think it's pretty funny. She was having a popsicle after he was born. And you can kind of again see I'm going through here, creating kind of different layouts and whatnot, uh, dragging these pictures on here. Um, kind of got his, just his hands and his feet here and then a little portrait here. Um, again, if you don't, these are high res images. So you have the ability to kind of zoom in um, if you want. So you can kind of zoom in here, kind of reformat where the picture is laying out. But I actually think that looks pretty good there. Um, like kind of hands feet. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then let's go in here. So I, I bounce into these layouts quite a bit. And again, these I think are different from each one of the templates that you start off with, at least a little bit different. Um, but this kind of gives you a sense. And what I usually do is I try to tell a story, you know, obviously telling a chronological story here. So, you know, the first page with the stats and my wife kind of, you know, relaxing there for a minute and then some shots of the baby you know his hands his feet getting a little portrait so now i kind of want to show him and his brother or you know maybe uh people that were visiting so let's do uh let's do brother here on the next page so he wore this cape which is kind of funny so we'll put that in there and then we'll go into layouts kind of peruse these a little bit uh, and there's some horizontal shots I have that are good. So we'll probably want to do something like that. Again, I don't really need text here, so I should be able to just click on that and delete it. Um, so again, these are quick layouts. I can change any of this at any time and it does save um, automatically when you're, when you're logged into your uh, account, which is free to set up and it will save your work. Um, so let's kind of go in here and take a quick look. Yeah, this was a good one. So this is kind of when he first met met him. And again, I just kind of wanted you to, to get a sense of how this kind of works on here. Lots of stuff you can do. You can add shadows to the pictures, which is cool if you do overlaps, uh, fit to fill, which it does automatically, different properties. And again, we kind of reviewed everything over here. So once you're done, again, it's automatically saving as you kind of go along. Um, so let's close out.
Now, obviously, you know, maybe you didn't finish that project or whatever right away. So if you go into your account and go into projects, should be, yep, books and albums. And like I said, all those albums that I showed you were actually have been saved and moved over. So I can actually reorder these books um, as they were, or I can order them at a smaller size, as long as it was a square, you could uh, order them, you know, a smaller size, maybe if you're doing a wedding album, you know, maybe a family member wants a copy, uh, really easy to, to sh either share or order it as a smaller, smaller size or just order the exact same book, uh, which is really pretty cool. This was the wine country one. So again, here's the one I'm working on. It kind of gives you a status of, you know, how close it is to being done. That's just basing on how many of the pages are filled. Um, but yeah, you just go in, edit, order, just like that. Albums are a great way to share a story, whether it's a vacation, a family event, a wedding, birth of a child, the possibilities are really endless. One of my favorite photo albums is my wedding album that I designed on Adorama's site, using the beautiful photos that Jessica Strickland captured for us in Westfield, Indiana. Also, just a quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Adorama. It's simply a program that I've used in the past. If you have any recommendations on printing photo albums, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe and be sure to visit us on photopxl.com, where we're trying every day to enhance your vision. See you on the next one.